Welcome to this next Google SketchUp screencast where we're going to talk about how to take a shape and make it 3D. So here is my classroom perimeter. Here's the teacher desk I created in the last video. Let's say I wanted to make a, a student desk and let's say that student desk I draw and let's say it was two feet by two feet. Two apostrophe comma two apostrophe and then I strike return and it makes it that. If you choose to draw your desks, I'm going to show you how to make a desk 3D. You'll want to create one and then copy and paste it over and over again. The next video is going to show you how you can already choose from Google's library of 3D, uh, 3D objects. So this will show how to make something 3D. The next video will show how to choose something that's already created in 3D. So here I have the square. I'm going to choose my orbit tool and orbit around just to get a different perspective here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And now the 3D tool is this push-pull tool located over here on the toolbar. Little uh, 3D square looking object with the arrow coming out of it. When you choose that tool, you place that almost kind of like a stamp. You place it over the object you want to pull up to 3D and you click and drag and make that pop up or go down. This is actually going below ground. So you want to come up a little bit like that to make, make it into an actual cube. Now when you do that, just like we did before, I'm going to undo there, I'm going to do it again. When I click and drag up, just like drawing a shape and drawing a line, when I am done and I've, I've let go of the mouse click, uh, I can actually type how tall that should be. So let's say, you know, I already made my, my square two feet by two feet. Let's say this desk was three feet tall. I would type three apostrophe return and it's going to make it three feet tall. So now I have a square cube. Now to pop out a bottom here to make this kind of desk looking, I can choose my rectangle tool. I can draw on the surface here. So I'm going to start down below and draw up and over. And I've chosen the square tool for this, not the pencil tool. So now there is a, a square that I put in and now I can use my push-pull tool and I can actually pop this back or push it through and when it hits the other side it disappears. So now if we look around here I have made kind of what looks like a desk. I might label this my little flag label icon, call this desk. And now I'm ready to, if I zoom out here, mass produce this. I'm going to use my selection tool and select all around this. Looks like I didn't get the desk flag in there. Oh, I don't want that line in there. I might have to rotate a little bit and select around what I want to copy. Just do an edit copy, which is also command C. And now I can do command V, which is a paste. So I'm going to paste this one a little further back. Now I might go back to my top down look. I'm going to do command one so that I can do this kind of in a two dimensional perspective so I'm not, I'm not too lost in the 3D. So now I've got two desks. I'm going to select those, copy, paste, make my row four. And then I can copy that whole row, copy, paste, and start positioning these where I would have them. Paste, paste, paste. And depending on the classroom, you might have a row of five or a row of four. So you can make a desk, you can make a table, and then the next screencast will show you how to get into putting objects into the classroom if you would like to.